Hey folks, this is Iowa throwing back with some more World of Tanks though. Yeah, how was your holidays? My holidays were pretty good. I took about a week off, um, as you guys obviously saw. I did try and get videos up so you guys had something to watch. Um, I don't, I don't think I did a very good job though. Next week or next year, I gotta plan this a lot better. Um, but it just, I. I thought I had a bunch of time to, to record and upload and stuff. And like as we got closer and closer to the holidays, so much of my recording time just vanished. And my uh, all the, the scheduled days where I was like, okay, I'm going to pump out three, four, five videos a day. Just throw them up. And uh, and those, those all, all those days just vanished. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry that there was a bit of a, a lackluster output over the holidays. Uh, and we're going to try and, you know, fix that going forward. Um, so, for a while now, I've started to fall out of favor with World Tanks. And I still enjoy playing the game, but I've, I'm not addicted to it anymore like I used to be. And I don't play it, um, you know, seven, eight days a week like I used to. And I don't think I ever will again. So, I'm going to cut back the World Tanks videos on the channel a little bit. A little bit. It's, I mean, so... They're going to be going out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from now on. So it's only going to be four instead of the, the six videos of World Tanks you guys are getting right now. And I'm going to plug those those days with other content. Because um, for the last four or five months, the sub subscriber count has been doing this. Like it, It's slowly one or two to five a day I'm losing with subscribers. And so obviously I'm not doing something that everybody, everybody wants to, to share a bunch of and like gain me a bunch of subscribers. So I got to change something and World Tanks is kind of seeming to go by the wayside as a game. And so I'm going to start to phase it out of the, the channel. For now though, all you guys need to know is we're going down from six days to four days and I'm going to try and put it amazing games. Um, I'm still going to try and put out, you know, a ga amazing games from anybody who sends me a game. But it's what meets the grade is going to be a little bit steeper. And so run-of-the-mill players are going to have to send me, like, the best game of the month versus the best game of the week kind of thing. Um, but I still want ev everybody sending me games, not, not just, you know the best of the best because I don't want to show those every time. I wouldn't do want to show average players once in a while. And so yeah, um, that's the direction the channel's going. Um, I hope you're on board and if you guys like it, write me a comment. If you don't like it, write me a comment. Um, those thumbs ups, I need them. I mean all of that. If you enjoy this channel, then support it and you don't have to be a patron to support it. You can just hit the thumbs up button on all my videos, you can, you know, whatever, comment. If you want to say hi on all of my videos, that will do a ton for the channel. Like, you, you, it's not even funny how much that will do for the channel. But anyway, so World Tanks winner said this was just kind of um, a run of the mill game for him. And I looked at the stats and I went, mm, I don't think this is run of the mill game. But, okay, if this is one of your run of the mill games, then uh, <laughs> we need to start watching what you're doing more often because you, you guys will see what um, what this is. Also, notice that he's got a lot of gold um, goaded. I'm looking at his barrel. He only has the one star. I'm assuming he's got all that gold because of the fact that he's probably going for his third mark of excellence. Um, and so take this gameplay with a grain of salt. If he was only using standard ammo, this might not be what it looks like at the end, right? Um, also, thinking about things that need to be said while we're waiting for things to happen, I need more um, that just happened type clips. Things to tack on the end of videos when I haven't been yapping for four minutes and I, we haven't, we you know, have gameplay during that time. Um, so yeah, nice little exchange with the bad chat. I don't know why the bad chat's over here. I mean, I get why the bad chat started being over here. I, 
I understand that he was trying to make a run for the hill. He must have realized, though, that this was not going to work. Why did he continue to sit there? That's like the worst possible place to put a bat chat. It's out in the open, we're going to get hit by artillery, and it's going to get focused down by heavy tanks. Like, why? Why would you do that? I assume he doesn't like his bat chat. That's, that's the only thing I can assume. Well, because if he enjoyed playing his bat chat, he wouldn't be there. <laughs> that's like... Mm. It's like every bat chat's worst nightmare. Nice shot into the side of the turret. He's loading gold now. I'm not 100% certain they didn't have gold loaded before. Um, but he's definitely loading gold now. And he's going to let the IS-3 take the hit. IS-3 takes the hit and he's going to pop out. He's going to take a shot from the IS-3 in the back. Um, but he should be able to fire twice before the Type 5 reloads. And with the bat chat dead... He can get a bit more aggressive. Notice he's aiming for the cheek of that Type 5. Now with the Type 5 pinned down, he's looking actually at the Type the T-54. The 54 was actually going to be his first target, no matter what. Assuming he didn't want to come all the way around here before firing at the, the Type 5. Um, and I don't think he would have done that. I think he would have, as much as he was watching the Type 5, he would have gone after the Type the T-54 first. Um, assuming the T-54 didn't get aggressive, of course. Once he got aggressive, he sealed his fate. Uh, ISM takes out our tracks, but it's a tier 8 beast against a tier 10 monster. Um, it's more like poke, 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 <laughs> right? <laughs> That's pretty much what's going to happen. He, he poked the beast, and the beast is going to about to eat him. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> I mean, at this point in time, you don't need to be firing gold. Uh, all of this you can be doing with standard ammo and being perfectly fine. You know, you could just almost run this guy over. Um, sorry for the on. I just had, I have done, of course, an eight hour shift at work before coming home. Putting up a highlight clip quickly so that uh, the folks on Wednesday got something to watch on the channel and then starting to record this. Um, and then after this, I can try record one more thing before I can calm down and just have some fun for the night. And by then, it will be time to make dinner. <laughs> That's just the way it's going to go. Uh, um, by the way, if you guys haven't checked out my Twitch, you really should. Uh, I'm going to be more heavily into that this coming year. And I'm going to start um, trying to really earn money over there and then do more time spent either on YouTube or Twitch and, and just more time doing the gaming stuff, putting out content for you guys. Ooh, unfortunately he bounces his round off of the uh, <laughs> the object there and then gets shot in the back by the Conway. So the Conway is in a great position except for the fact that it's sticking his butt out. If it, has, if it was spun around and just peeking out right there, um, it would be able to see when we were aiming at it and it would be a pull away. Uh, but for some reason, it was just sticking its back end out and waiting. Um, and so now, we kind of are the only one over here. This is a problem. Because now... What? Me, me. Us and, and what army just scared that guy away. Okay, th this is a problem with world tanks, okay? Um, there is... One, two... There, there's at least two tanks, and there are immediate vicinity. Okay? Now, we have overwhelming odds. Um, in ever Counting the entire map. But in this vicinity, these two guys can come over this ridge line at any time. Now, not only that, but this two object actually was coming over the ridge line. We shot him. He needed to finish that. He needed to come all the way over. He should have come over the door, slid in beside us, and shot us. That would have been a game over. Dead tank. Dead tanks can't shoot back. But this guy's ground all the way up to tier 9. Hasn't realized that, that <laughs> an object 277 is not an autoloader. And once he gets shot, once he pulls back. And you guys can't be doing that. You can't be pulling back when getting shot by an enemy. 
you get shot by the enemy, and that's, and you know it's an autoloader. It's, you know, French, or it's uh, got that big bubble turret on. Do not pull back. All it does is make you look like an idiot, lets him reload, and then he bounces one off the side of your tank. <laughs> like, I mean, there was, there was no reason that this guy is, is in this position. Instead of, like I me, mean, he came over the rise twice so that he could get himself shot. All he needed to do was come over the rise and pass us. And then he would have got a great kill. That's not how he did it, but that's how we should have done him. The 705 looks like it's going down, killing a defender. Well, it killed the defender. Um... Apparently, somebody in chat is not happy with the 705. I assume because the 705 or the defender didn't help. Wait, is that an E4 yelling at a defender? It does, in fact, seem to be an E4 yelling at a defender. So, to put this in perspective, <laughs> the E4 is a tier 10 tank destroyer with some of the best armor in this match. The Defender is a tier 8 heavy tank. I, granted, it's got good armor, but why are you complaining when you can do twice of, twice his damage um, and somehow he was supposed to come to your rescue and he didn't, and so you're going to whine at him? <laughs> and you guys wonder why I'm shying away from this game. Ah, and of course, World Tanks winner thinks this is an average game. But, um, he's platooned up so he gets the Brothers in Arms. And we're going to jump over and see what he got. That is a Master Bridge First Class, Bruiser Fighter, Fire for Effect, Brothers in Arms, and the High Caliber. Makes quite a bit of money now. Of course, he fired a ton of gold. So, likely as not, he didn't make anything. Or he lost a ton. But for 7,000 damage... Almost 1,200 base experience in a tier 10 tank. This is a good result. Holy smokes, the rest of our team. Hey, look, there's that E4 that was complaining about the Defender. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> right? This, this game isn't weird or broken. Ooh, he made money. He was running... I don't know, it was a personal mission. And, of course, the fact that he got shot by an ally. Um, and so he does make a little bit of money in this game. Well done, overall. Thank you so much for sending this a World Tanks winner. I don't think this is the average an average game for you. But I understand that you may feel like it is. Uh, you're, you're entitled to that feeling. Um, and don't forget, guys, so... I mean, comments... I want to hear from you guys, but I'm pretty sure that I'm still going to be shrinking it down to Mondays, Wednesdays, f Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for World Tanks content. And every other day is going to be something else. Um, and Sundays are going back to being Reddit videos because I like them. And people keep telling me I need to record 20 minute videos, so we'll get to those. Anyways, this has been way too long already, so thank you very much. Have a great night. I'll see you all later this IOE throat.